the internet. 6% of U.S. real GDP. It began in the late 60s as a military-led communication network. Until NSF opened it up by creating a backbone and laying the foundation for unprecedented connectivity that changed the world. Real return on NSF investment. America's is an innovation-driven economy, but new products and processes don't just burst on the scene fully grown. They're built on a foundation of years, even decades, of basic research. So why not just rely on the private sector for that research? Corporations today are very heavy on the D side of R&D. If the research takes more than three years to become a product, the research side is seldom funded. That's where government organizations like the NSF play a crucial role in filling that research void in corporations. NSF-funded research underpins vast segments of the American economy, enabling growth across the spectrum of American industry. Our investments help launch the mobile revolution, 3D printing revolution, tissue engineering, and the rapidly booming field of nanotechnology. They're boosting our resilience to natural hazards and man-made threats and helping transform American industry through advanced manufacturing. The net result? Jobs. And hundreds of billions of dollars added to the economy. Not long ago, two NSF-funded graduate students created a page rank method based on web links. Today, we know their work as Google. NSF-funded research built on game theory would soon become the foundation for Google's ad sales system key to their profits. And we're helping develop more profitable agricultural practices and technologies. Higher yield drought and disease resistant crops that need less water and fertilizer. NSF funds startups and small businesses with radically innovative ideas to help get their discoveries out of the lab and into the market. We're a small company and our original technology was based out of a university. We needed funds to see how well this could really work. Major market leaders like Qualcomm and Symantec were once tiny startups too, helped along by NSF funding. Qualcomm was uh, very small when it received its first SBIR grants. Well, it meant the difference between starting and not starting. It, it meant everything in those early days. NSF investments in people helped develop the workforce of scientists, engineers, and technicians, critical to maintaining the technological edge that drives American economic growth. NSF, investments in basic research, innovative ideas, discovery, and discoverers, all in the national interest. The result is almost unimaginable returns for the economy and the American people.